welcome or welcome back to Four of Beauty. Where will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, if Editing Angie has remembered, you are currently watching me in black and white. And if the thumbnail, the description and the title haven't already told you, this is the continuation of my photo inspiration collaboration series and I am absolutely delighted that the beautiful Linda is doing round four with me. So, if you want to see exactly which picture the gorgeous Linda has chosen for us to get our inspiration from and you want to see what this looks like in glorious Technicolor then my friend you are in precisely the right place grab a drink grab a snack put your feet up here it comes hey welcome back from the intro which fingers crossed was in black and white I'm going to forget one of these times, I know I am. Right, I am absolutely delighted that this is round four with Linda. She's just, she really is one of my absolute favourites. Uh, and the picture that she has chosen for this photo inspiration collaboration series, so many words, is this one here. Isn't that beautiful? It, it's like a... Similar to the last one she chose, which was kind of like a fairy woodland almost. This this has a similar sort of ethereal feel to it. So you've got the beautiful butterfly in yellow and purple. You've got deep hot pink flowers next to it. And then you've got the gorgeous cherry blossom, the white and pale pink cherry blossom just falling down and the background to it is this deep grungy bluey greeny hints of black and then you've got the green at the bottom as well so as you all know if you've watched any of these and if you haven't i'm going to summarize it for you now my photo collaboration series um is all about one photo and the colours from that photo inspiring two different people to do so far they've all been two very different looks now you can only use the colours in the picture so you can't add any colours in no adding browns to make your life easier and just putting pops of colour but you don't have to use all of the colours in the picture so I've picked up three palettes that I'm going to use today. I'm going to use my Viseart Libertine palette that my friend Kay sent me because I think this blue and green here and this um, the blue and green is, is perfect for the background even though the teal is slightly shimmery but that really doesn't worry me. And then I'm probably going to use some of the purple as well from the butterfly for the background from this palette. And then from my Pinky Rose Bright Lights palette, I'm going to use these two, the yellow and the hot pink. And then for the cherry blossom, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Obsession Dream with a Vision. And I'm probably going to do a mixture of this one and this one to get the right shade of pink. And maybe either use Cloud or perhaps the, the uh, matte white there as well. So that's what I'm planning at the moment. But uh, we all know my plans have a habit of changing when you least expect them to. Um, just 
going to take this off the back of my hand before I forget myself and make an absolute mess everywhere. Now, my films are aimed at all skill levels, from complete beginners to complete experts. And no, I am not claiming to be an expert or anything like an expert. What I do is that I come in very close and when I'm doing tutorials I'll talk you through every step. I don't always do that as much in these films because this is more about who I'm collabing with and um, the picture inspiring the colours that I'm choosing. But I do sometimes fall back into tutorial mode and forget myself and then start, you know. So, my face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed. I've got MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot on my lid, which I've not set, but we've been chatting for a while, so it's not as sticky as it was. And uh, I did um, just cover up a rather unwanted visitor here who was shining like a Belusha beacon. So, let's get you zoomed in. Uh, if you find that I am going too slowly for you, um, because obviously with my chronic pain I do have to regularly stop, um, then, you know, there's a speed widget, please use it. I won't be offended if you speed me up. I will, however, be offended if you moan I'm going too slowly when I say this at the start of all of my films. Okay. Thank you so much for listening. Let's start sticking some colour on, shall we? I'm going to go in with a Luxie 205 tapered blending brush. It is clean, it's just stained, uh, but there's no pigment coming off of it as you can see. So I'm going to go in with my Viseart. Um, I think this has names but I can't find the sheet for it that had the names on it so you know which ones I'm using. I'm using the bottom row. So I actually discovered Linda through a couple of other um, Swedish YouTubers that I follow. I follow quite a few. Um, started off watching Angelica Nyqvist. Um, through her I found Paulina. Uh, after I'd done my Here's All My Palette film. Um, if you're a creator on YouTube you'll know that whatever you put up in your most recent tags you'll tend to find films with similar tags coming up in your suggested so I was getting on everybody else's um, eyeshadow palette collections and um, one of them popped up which was Stars Hollywood Jessica and it said she had 1400 palettes and I thought that's, that's got to be a mistype, surely. That, that, that must mean like 140 pallets. No, no, no. No, Jessica had at that point in time over 1400 pallets. Um, and I was. Uh, initially, the film that I watched, you just saw her hands um, and her Alex drawers. And I just absolutely fell in love with her voice and her personality. Um, started watching her and um, all three of those YouTubers, Swedish ones that I've mentioned so far, all loved colour, which is great because you know I'm not frightened of colour. It's rare that I will occasionally do a neutral look on here for those of you who've requested them, but the majority of my looks show you how to play with colour. Um, also because I think when you're just demonstrating different techniques, using colour shows the results clearer than just using um, more neutral or pastel tones does. I keep sitting back and checking because obviously your eyes are different shapes. So I just want to make sure that I'm getting a similar kind of shaping to the colour. Um, yeah, and I was watching um, Stars Hollywood Jessica, 
and she mentioned Marlin and that's how I found Marlin and then I think both Marlin and Jessica mentioned Linda that Linda who I'm collabing with today and that's how I found Linda um, Paulina also mentioned another Angelica I still haven't learned how to say her surname yet properly so I'm not going to try and but you know butcher it um, but I do have all the Swedish YouTubers that I follow listed in my description boxes because they are all just they love working with colour which obviously is exactly what I love and um, thankfully I've actually collabed with Jessica Marlin and Linda um, Linda was so shocked when I first asked her to collab because um, she only had like seven subscribers at the time but I'm not one of these people who looks at a collab as a way to benefit myself. I ask to collab with people that I like and that I respect and that I enjoy their content and that I think would be a good fit for the channel um, and that my you know, my 4F regulars will enjoy watching. Um, I don't... Sorry, I forgot to put my phone on silent. I don't see collabs as a, ooh, what can I get out of it? How big is your subscriber count? How many extra subscribers can I get from you? That's, that's not what I collab for. I ask to collab with people that I like and whose work I like and admire. Um, so she was so shocked, bless her. And she's like, Are you, you sure you mean me? And I'm like, yes, of course I mean you. Um, she's got one of the most soothing voices on YouTube. Um, if I'm feeling stressed, I'll either put one of her films on or one of um, Val's from Gimme Lip and More because they both just have such soothing voices. I don't know if Linda realises quite how ASMR her voice is, but it really is. It's She's just, she's such a lovely woman, and she's so softly spoken and so calm, and, you know, she's just, she's just a really lovely person. Um, so if you haven't seen any of our three previous collabs. Where have you been? Um, although I suppose you could be a newbie and this could be one of the first films that you're seeing. Um, but, uh, you know, do go back and check out some of the other films that we've done together. Once you finish watching this, obviously. Because she's produced some really cracking looks. Uh, don't pull your eye out like this unless you have to. I've got super deep creasing here where it was pulled around when I was sort of five, six years old at the ophthalmic hospital. So I have to do that otherwise I get um, pigment sort of sitting in the crease and then I get a fallout through the day. So, so I'm just blending this teal and the purple together. Uh, regular viewers know that teals and purples are my colours because my wedding dress was purple and my bridesmaids dresses were teal. Um, gold star work, I am going to do a film for you where I show you the photo of the wedding dress but um, not in this film because this is, this is, a, this is more about Linda and the picture that she's chosen. Now I do struggle here and here with creasing so I do sometimes get a bit of patching there as you can see but it's not I can promise you it's not the Viseart shadows going patchy it's just my skin mucking around. I was so lucky when Kay sent me this she um she sent me quite a lot of different things actually and apparently I have another little parcel on its way as well. So I said to her, you're like my fairy godmother of makeup and she said no, I'm more like a rich aunt who buys too much. 
which I thought was absolutely brilliant. So I'm sure she'll be pleased to see me using this. I do use it quite a bit off camera as it happens, but this particular colour works perfectly, at least I think it does, for the picture that Linda's chosen. Just deepening the purple up a little bit. I'm holding the brush right at the very end, so I'm putting very, very little pressure on my actual eyelid. And you can see I've just buffed where the two colours meet to soften that line off. Hmm, I like that. It's quite pretty. Right, I'm going to clean this brush off. And I'm going to... Damn thing, I'll go back in. There we go. I'm going to grab a... This is one of my... Royal and Langnickel Chic Pro eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to use this to go in with the, um, the navy blue to deepen everything up. So, I am actually trying to learn a little bit of Swedish at the moment, but at 45 years old, Learning a new language is not as easy as it was when you were 13 at school. Um, and what doesn't help also is that where I've got fibro, it does affect my memory. So one day I can tell you how to say the boy is drinking water, and the next day So, but I am trying to to pick up some Swedish because um, I'm hoping that um, as a family, either later this year or probably next year now, actually, when we're thinking about it, um, we're all hoping to do a. Sorry, my towel is coming loose. Just need to tighten it up a bit. We, um, as a family, we're going to do a cruise through the fjords, the Norwegian fjords, to um, try and see the northern lights because we'd all love to see those. Sorry about that. Um, and although obviously Norway is not Sweden, it is super close. Um, and I'm hoping that one of the ports we stop at will be close enough that maybe Jessica, Marlin and Linda and myself could meet up and we could have a coffee. And I would love to be able to say hello to them and have a little bit of a chat in Swedish because obviously their English is just a fantastic. You know, their English puts some people's English to shame who actually have English as a first language. They just... I'm always amazed at polyglots, people that can speak more than one language. Because um, to be honest, I mean, my French, I can just about order myself a cheese and ham toasted sandwich, a beer, a wine, a coffee, and an ashtray from when I used to smoke, and ask where the toilets are. Uh, oh, and ask for tomato ketchup on the chips as well, because... Oh, I always used to want ketchup on his chips. So, but yeah, I um, because I've not used my conversational French really since I left school, to be quite honest. Apart from the occasional day trip across the Channel, which, to be fair, was more for the duty free than anything else, and which then became duty paid and. I was able to take advantage of that really before we end up leaving on Brexit again. Although I'm hoping that Brexit gets pushed back again from October where it is at the moment. But anyway, um, I am hoping that when we do this cruise, hopefully it will go close enough that the girls will be able to come across and have a coffee, which would be awesome. 
and obviously if any of them come to the UK we are going to meet up for a drink his girl is it, it's it's going to happen you know it has to be done either I'll come to you or you can come to me but obviously travelling with chronic pain is not the easiest thing in the world to do but I figure with a cruise it's probably going to be the easiest way for me to um, to travel around because obviously you just you check into the one room and that's it, you go to sleep and then you wake up the next day in a different country without actually having to sort of drive or on and off a coach or on and off a plane etc um, I don't do well with flying, I have very very sensitive ears uh, I never have done well with flying to be fair even short hops just leave me in absolute agony and I've tried everything uh, just seems like my body doesn't want to fly so I'm going to listen to it plus kind of I love the idea of sort of doing a cruise and just you know old old worldy old 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 style you know not quite sure how I got onto this oh yeah learning Swedish that was what it was just using my microfiber cloth to clean this brush off now do I want to, do I want to cut the lid? I don't think I do to be honest. Because obviously with me cutting the lid I have to come right up here because of my deep set eyes. And I don't want to lose this sort of transition-y bit here that I really like. So I'm going to grab my Dream with a Vision palette. Now I've got to decide what order I'm going to put these in, aren't I? I might use yellow for my inner corner highlight rather than try and incorporate it on the lid. I'm just going to tidy that bit a little bit just there. Just neaten that edge up a fraction. There we go. That's better. Right, let me grab. This is another one of my Royal and Lang Nickel Chic Pro. This is a smudger brush. Uh, but I like it because it's quite a firm, sort of pencil y type brush. I have got a couple of pencil brushes, but do you think I can find them? Oh, there's one. There's one of them. But as to where the other one is, not a Scooby. Probably washed it and put it back in the wrong bag. So I think I'm going to start off. I'm going to use a mixture of Imagine and Cloud, which is the matte white and the shimmery white. Just on the inner part of the lid. Brightness there. Mm, the matte white's not really doing very much, to be honest. Let's see if I can clear some of that blue out of the inner corner. I don't want to take too much off because obviously I've got the. Um, Paint put underneath it. Let's go back into cloud because I don't think that matte white is going to do a huge amount. So let's put cloud into the inner corner. Yes, that's a bit better. And obviously the same thing this side. 
This is a really nice shimmery white, this one. Some shimmery whites can be a bit... You put them on and they almost look either silver or grey. Whereas this does maintain the pure white, as you can see. Again, I'm having to stretch my lid out because of the deep creasing, otherwise I'm going to get fall out through the day, which is not good. Right, clean the brush off. Now I want to go into some pale pink. Let's see if Daydream will show up on its own. Whether I'm going to have to mix it. It's showing, but I don't think it's going to be showing up deep enough when it comes to the camera picking it up, you know. So I'm going to go into a little bit of fantasy as well. Just mix the two together. Just to give us a little hint of light pink there for the cherry blossom hmm. now why didn't you show up like that on this side? Possibly because I didn't have enough on the brush. Use the error again. What a surprise. Right. I close this palette. And I'm going to go into my Pinky Rose Bright Lights palette. And I'm going to go into Becky, which is that hot, hot pink. And I've got a little mini mirror here, so that I, because my viewfinder is quite a way off. And I'm just going to pop. sides and then clean the brush off and I'm just going to very gently smudge where the light pink meets that Becky shade quite liking this folks. Right, I'm going to pause you while I go off camera and do my foundation etc. And I will be back to finish off this eye look with you. So I will see you right now. Okay, I am back. And yes, I've got my purple brows back. Had a few days where purple brows wasn't appropriate and after four or five days of using my cellar water and obviously cleaning my face, the, the, the staining that had been left behind was gone. So my brows were back to their normal boring colour. So I'm back on with the purple again today. I'm going to go in with this flat top brush. And I'm going to go into the Fizzy Art palette and just pick up that navy to 
continue down and underneath my eye because um, fibro gives you quite runny eyes anywhere it does for me plus my hay fever's kicked in now so the combination of the two I just I cannot do eyeliner at the moment because it just runs straight away um, likewise putting anything in my waterline even this pomade which I have used in my waterline a couple of times and it did actually stay quite well um, it's just it's irritating everything's irritating my eyes at the moment because of the amount of pollen you know I can't wear my contact lenses a bit of a nightmare thankfully I've got some very cool prescription sunnies in the car for driving and I have some nice 1950s wind glasses for when I'm not driving so you know I still look cool <coughs> all right I'm gonna go in with this is another flat top brush but it's a chunky one got this from Tarte Graveyard Girl palette yes. and I'm gonna pick up a mixture of the purple and the teal to smoke this bottom lash line out but we seem to be seeing more of the, purp the teal than the purple so let's pop a little bit of extra purple in there just to kind of mirror what's going on on the top you know and do the same this side I always flinch this side and then don't end up going way too low with it because obviously I'm blind in this eye so I don't have any peripheral vision so I kind of have to sort of it's like an Amy Winehouse situation with liner you know you do one then you have to make the other one match you know, before you know what's going on you've got more liner than I should have but I quite like this dramatic sort of look so probably just as well really isn't it Seeing as how that's what I've got going on right now. And the only colour that I've not used, obviously I've not used the green, but I, I wasn't going to pick the green up today anyway. But I need to go in with some yellow. So I'm going to start off with the Dream with a Vision palette. And I'm going to go into Sunshine. My Noel Gallagher impression, for those of you who are wondering. Um, this is just a really cheap lip brush that I got off of eBay years ago. I'm just going to pop the yellow, or the lemon rather, up under the brow there. Now I will probably go over that with a little bit of gold highlighter in a minute. But I want the, the lemon to kind of pop through. I might just leave it as the lemon actually because it looks quite nice. Let's see what I feel when I've put the yellow on the inner corner. Just a, a pop of brightness there. Into the bright lights palette and I'm going to go into lit I'm going to pop this wow check that out on the inner corner and just bring it underneath to it up because obviously with my eyes that is the shape that I've found works best for me anyway. Um, normally I'll use whatever highlighter I'm going to use on my face, on the brow bone and the inner corner, but because I wanted the eyes to be more smoky and deep, but still wanted to use that yellow, I thought this could be an ideal 
way of uh, just adding that pop in. Hmm. What do we think? You like? You don't like? I like. <coughs> right. Uh, I'm going to pause you while I do something with my hair. Um, I will bung some highlighter on my face, choose a lippy, be back for the final reveal of the overall look. Don't go anywhere now. And I'm back. Uh, the lippy I used is the Jeffrey Christmas Cookie, which I still have it in its sparkly packaging. Um, this is probably going to be one of the few lipsticks that I actually use up and then have to buy a new one for, but I'll probably still keep the packaging for this even when it's empty because it's pretty and it's sparkly and I'm a magpie. The highlight that I used is my Gerard Cosmetics Audrey, which I bought, you can see from how old this sticker is on the back, I bought this long, long, long before I had my affiliation with Gerard Cosmetics. Um, I only ever take on uh, discount codes with brands that I have tried and that I love and that I am happy to recommend to all of you. Details in the description box as always and clearly marked which ones I own from which ones I don't. But what we're talking about now is... This is the finished look. Here is Linda's picture that she chose. What do you think? Is this what you would have done or would you have done something different? Let me know in the comments below what you would have chosen. Do you think I've uh, captured it well enough or would you have done something a bit different with the yellow? Let me know. Now, you are one of my beautiful 4F babies. Once you have liked, commented, maybe shared, double checked you're still subscribed and checked you've still got that bell rung because YouTuber gets at the moment, um, please go across to Linda's channel and show her some love from us here. Let her know you've come across from 4F and uh, let's just see how different her look is from mine. Hmm? And if you have come here from Linda's channel, hi, hello, welcome, I hope you enjoyed it here, I hope you enjoyed this particular look, um, I've got a lot of other films you can choose to watch, I've got a lot of playlists, um, there's, this appears in quite a few because I've got quite a few crossover playlists, so it'll be in the makeup tutorials, it'll be in the collabs which will have all of these plus any other collabs that I've done but if you're just looking to see all the other photo inspiration films there is a playlist called photo inspiration where you will find all the previous incarnations of this series so as ever all that remains for me to say is your stay fabulous don't forget to watch Linda, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.